Arizona is home to massive Amazon warehouses, sprawling facilities full of robots and people filling and shipping orders. So where does all of this stuff come from? Turns out regular people like the Herberts help stock Amazon's warehouses. Nobody realizes that. The Herberts gave up their finance jobs in LA for a more family-friendly, affordable lifestyle in Arizona, where they work full-time as Amazon sellers out of their garage. But you guys move things pretty quickly out of here. Yeah. You don't hang on to a whole lot of stuff for long. No, we try to actually have everything out within 24 hours of actually receiving it. We are surrounded by recent hauls all bought in bulk. Nike shoes bought for 40 bucks will bring them a profit of $35 a pair. Baby carriers from Bye Bye Baby were $45 on clearance. They'll bring a profit of 50 bucks each. A couple hundred dollars here, a couple hundred dollars there, and it all adds up. The Herberts are especially proud of Dyson vacuums they found at Lowe's for $129. The total we found 23 of them, and we're gonna net a profit after we pay for all the product, right? We're gonna end up netting about 3,000. Amazon reports more than half of the company's sales come from third-party sellers like the Herberts. They need us just as much as we need them. Um, so it's a very, it's a lucrative partnership uh, for both parties. Just how lucrative took some prying. We were taught that you don't your personal talk money. about your personal money. The Herberts, modest and hardworking, and it's like, uh... were concerned about talking earnings. Do you want us to honestly give numbers? Yes, like, I did. Our, our goal is to gross over seven figures, so over a million in sales. A million dollars in gross sales this year, with an estimated profit of three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars all from this garage. How, you ask? It's a lot of work, as I found out. It's nine o'clock on a Sunday morning in Deer Valley, and I'm meeting Justin and Kristen Herbert here at this Target store. This is where they're gonna start shopping for the day, or as they call it, sourcing. With daughter Stevie and son Cruz in tow, they know exactly what they're looking for. They're looking for board games. Specific ones? We yes. found them. Clearance price, $7. The games will sell for 20 bucks, and after fees and taxes, they'll yield a $7 profit each. I can check to see if other stores have some. With that, we were off. There's another six stops to go. They find 10 more games in store number two and also check out other clearance items. They get an inkling about an Aquaman costume. Justin checks the apps to compare the store price to what it would sell for on Amazon and determines it's a buy. I found what I thought was a good buy, Camelback water bottles for half off, but I was wrong. More than likely, this is gonna go on clearance at least one more time and they're gonna bring it down to like $3. That's when we jump in. With the trunk filling, our shopping spree had me wondering what do the big box stores think of this? Most of these large retailers are looking to move the product and clear shelf space. The Herberts don't mind if other people see this, feel inspired, and want to get in on the action. You guys really are not afraid of spilling your secrets. The people who really want this bad enough will go and do it. Um, but this is hard work. They're even posting YouTube tutorials now, hoping to inspire stay-at-home parents, retirees, people getting out of debt, or families saving up to adopt like they are. They hope Stevie and Cruz will become a trio later this year. Yeah. If you want to make that happen, you can do it. Hands down. Anybody can do it.